Let's go. Yoga lattes. We're going to start stood today. So I want all four corners of the feet pressed into the floor. Hands wide open, facing the front. Roll your shoulders back. And I want you to slightly look up. You can close your eyes. And this moment, all today, is about your intention. So I want you to create an intention. It could be a fitness goal. It could be a chance to just feel relieved and unstressed. Think about what you really want to achieve from this class. And what I want you to do is every time you take a deep breath in, I want you to imagine that you're embodying this vision, this intention. And each time you breathe, this intention is going to become stronger and crystallize right into your body. So take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Feel your lungs fill up, widen out your ribs, and very slowly just breathe out, squeezing your belly button tighter into your torso. Good, making that the muscles around your spine work out a little bit more. So, if you've got anything on your mind whatsoever that's not to do with this class, just let it drift away as you breathe out. Breathe in, think about that intention, really resonate it in your body. Exhale, think about all those things that are bothering you, blown away. Pull it back. 
Right, come back to the centre, hands underneath. Feet underneath your hips, hands open. Again, roll your shoulders back. Feel your body feel warmer than it did before. Again, feel the intention rise through the floor. Up through the soles of your feet, up through your legs, into your hips, up to your chest, down your hands, back up. And out the top of your head, completely radiate it. Roll your shoulders back. We're going to start with some sun salutations. So we're going to breathe in, take your arm high. You're going to exhale, fold forward, nice flat back down towards the floor. Inhale, flat back as you rise your head up, hands on your knees, fold it back down. Inhale, walk your feet back into a plank, hold it there. Easy option, take your hand, knees down to the floor. Exhale as you drop your body down towards the floor, pull it up into cobra. Hold it there. Brilliant. Tuck your toes under, squeeze your pelvis high. Tip your pelvis up into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here and just squeeze one heel down into the floor, one at a time. Perfect, use this moment to just fire up your calves into your hamstrings. And very slowly, just walk your feet back in. Bring it back into flat back. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, rise your arms up. Exhale, bring your arms down. Right, that was one. Let's go again, a little bit quicker. Breathe it in. Exhale, fold down, extend it for the hamstrings. Breathe in, flat back, hands on your shins. Exhale, fold it down again. Slowly walk your feet back into plank. Knees on the floor, otherwise chaturanga down, chest towards the floor, bring it up into upward facing dog. Squeeze your belly in, keep going all the way into downward facing dog. Again, work one heel into the floor at a time. Perfect. Walk your feet back in. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, down. Good, let's go a couple more times. Breathe it in. Exhale, big stretch down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, down. Walk or jump your feet back into plank. Knees down or try to round it down into cobra or upward facing dog. Squeeze your belly button in as you rise. Exhale, take the bottom high again. One heel at a time, warm the legs up. Perfect. Walk or jump your feet back. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, take your arms down. Right, one more time. I want you to make your arms as big as they'll go. Big breathing. Expand your arms out as you fold. Inhale, exhale down. Walk or jump your feet back, plank. Inhale as you chaturanga down, bring it up into the swan dive. Breathe in, flat back. Exhale, squeeze your torso up towards the sky. One heel at a time. Perfect, walk or jump your feet back into the floor. Flat back as you rise. Exhale as you go down. Inhale as you rise up. Exhale this time, feet underneath your hips, sink down into chair pose. And all you've got to do is just hold. Hold, hold, hold. Well done. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chin. Imagine you've got that beam of light or energy shooting out your fingers, radiating positivity. And just keep going. Perfect. Breathe in. Exhale. Slowly fold it down. Clasp your arms together, hold on to your elbows. Slight soft bend in your knees and just gently rock side to side. 
perfect. We're going to continue our sun salutation, slowly roll up. We're just going to add in a crescent pose. So feet underneath the hips. Let's go again, breathe it in. Exhale as big as you can, fall down. Inhale, raise it up. Exhale down. Walk or jump your feet back. Well done, feel strong in your plank. Exhale as you take your body down, breathe it up. Really good, well done. Squeeze it back into plank. Bottom high. Right, we're gonna hold it here. One heel in the floor at a time. And now I want you to slowly bring your feet together. From there, raise your right leg up into the sky, hold. Good. Press both of your thumbs and index fingers into the floor. Bend that top leg, open out your hips, increase the stretch. Okay, square off your hips again. Perfect. Bring in that knee and just slowly place that foot in between both hands, hold. Good, from there, take your arms high into crescent pose, hold. So your back heel is up, both feet are facing forwards and your right knee is in line with your right ankle. Just hold, roll your shoulders down and back, squeeze your belly button in, breathe. Think about that intention. Feel it, firing up in your legs, just hold. Good, take your arms down and then bring it back up. And again, take it down. Bring it up. So if you need to bend your back leg slightly, be my guest. Last one, take it down. Breathe it up. This time, imagine someone's holding onto your wrists. Squeeze it forward, big old stretch all the way down to the floor. Take that arm, leg back. Chaturanga down into the floor. Bring it up into upper facing dog or cobra. Squeeze your belly button back into plank, back into your downward facing dog. Again, armpits are pressed down towards the sky. Squeeze one heel down at a time. Good. This time, float the left leg up into the air. Perfect. From here, bend that leg, open down the hips. And just enjoy the sounds of jazz. Extend your leg back high. Squeeze your belly button in, pull your knee under your chest. Take that leg in between both hands. Hold it there, let's pose. From here, press down in your left foot. Raise your arms up into the air. Keep your balance in between both legs. Squeeze your shoulders down and back. And again, feel that power coming out of your fingertips. Take a deep breath in, feel the lungs of air. Breathe out, still holding on to your core. Good, don't worry if you're a bit wobbly. Every day I do this is different. Okay, float your arms down. Float them back up. Float them down. Good, float them up. Float them down. Float them up. So your front leg should be burning. Just feel how strong it's going to make, closer to those goals that you're trying to achieve. This time, take your arm high. Again, like someone's pulling your fingertips forward. Tip right forward, right, 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 right forwards. Place your hands on the floor. Take your pelvis back. Feet together, chaturanga down towards the floor. Squeeze it up. Squeeze your belly button in, down facing dog. Just hold it here, stretch out your legs. Again, walk or jump your feet back. Breathe in, flat back. 
Exhale down. Breathe in, reverse one dive high. Exhale down. Bring your arms forward, back into chair pose. Well done. Again, roll your shoulders back, squeeze your belly button in. Keep your weight in your heels, you should be able to wiggle your toes. Perfect, keep breathing. Two more deep breaths, let your legs burn it out. And fold forwards again, hold on to your elbows, gently rock side to side. Center, slowly rise. Okay, here we go again. We're adding on. So breathe in. You should feel gorgeous and warm now. Exhale, fall. Breathe in, flat back. Exhale, fall. Well done. Hands on the floor. Walk or jump your feet back. Hands underneath your shoulders. Chatter on the down. Bring it up. Again, squeeze it into plank. Press it up into downward facing dog. Walk your feet together and very slowly float again that right leg up into the sky. Hold it there. From here, I just want you to slowly point and flex your right foot. Good. Bringing that knee underneath your chest. Take it in between both hands. Perfect, this time with your left foot, open it out so your heels press into the floor. Bring your arms up. Brilliant, warrior one, take it open. Look towards your left hand side. Keep your hips in line with your shoulders. And just breathe. If you can, sink down into that hip a little bit more. Really get that right leg fired up. Perfect. From there, reach towards me. Take the arm down. Bring the opposite arm overhead. Stretch it out. Perfect. Well done. Angle pose. And if you can, you can sink that hand down to the floor. Keep it there. Perfect. You want that extra stretch in your chest? Take your left hand, wrap it behind your body. Perfect. Breathe it. Two more deep breaths. Perfect. Bring it back up. Squeeze it up. Use that thigh. Hold it there. Bring it back. Squeeze it down. Woo! Take both legs back. Chatter on it down. Squeeze it up. Good. Squeeze it back into plank. Into your down facing dog. Take a moment here to just stretch out your legs. Okay. Feet together. Float your left leg up. Good. Point and flex that top foot. Don't worry if you can't get your heel on the floor. It's absolutely fine. Okay, bring it back. Take that left leg, place it in between both hands. Hold. Good. This time, squeeze your right heel down to the floor, open out that leg. From here, brush your hands forwards. Hold. And then allow both your hips and your shoulders to twist to your right hand side. Stack your shoulders over your hips and hold. So make sure you've got a gorgeous straight line with this knee to your ankle. And you're opening out your hips. Hold. Are you squeezing your belly button into your spine? Are your shoulders away from your ears? Do you feel strong? Good. Two more deep breaths. One more. Perfect. Stretch towards me. Angle 
pose. Left arm on your left knee. Take that right arm over. Well done. You should really feel this right in your left thigh. If you can, squeeze that left hand down to the floor. Open up. Good, well done. If you want to, take that hand behind, open up your chest further. Perfect. From here, hold on to that front thigh, squeeze it up. Bring your arms back to the front. Take it down. Well done, squeeze that leg back. You're going to chaturanga down. And bring it up. Squeeze it back into child's pose. And squeeze it up. Perfect. Walk or jump your feet back into your hands. Breathe in flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise it up. And your very last time with this sequence, squeeze it down into chair pose. And we'll start taking it away from the thighs, focusing more on our balance, flexibility, and into your core. And then we'll finish with a moment of relaxation. Perfect. Two more deep breaths. One more. And fold well done. Hold it there. Hands on your elbows again. This time you should feel that bit more flexible in your hamstrings. Just slowly go side to side. Back to centre, roll it up. Perfect. Let's go into our balance phase. We're just going to do a couple of really easy balances, but I'm going for you to focus in on your body. So take your weight in your left leg. All four corners of your feet are pressed. Simply open out your palms. Flex your foot, raise your right foot in the air. With a bent knee, hold. So find a spot on the wall or on the floor that's not moving. And I want you to find this moment to completely find stillness and peace in your body. And just hold. Test yourself. If you need to, tap your toe on the floor. Bring it back up. Good, you should feel nice and warm. Muscles are all engaged. Perfect. Good, a few more moments. Ignore it if you start to feel a little bit breezy. Take that foot down. Shake your supporting ankle out. And then press all four corners of your right foot into the floor. Take that foot forward. Bring it up, flat foot, bent leg. Really open out your palms, open out your chest. Feel confident. And breathe. Good, you're engaging your pelvic floor, your abdominals. You should feel a slight sensation in that leg that's lifted in your thigh. Good, keep breathing. Are you thinking about that intention? What do you want from this class? How hard do you need to work to get there? Last deep breath. Exhale, shake it off. So the next one, you're going to go into trees. So again, all four corners of your left foot in the floor. Squeeze that leg into your inner part of your thigh. If not, take it down. Just hold it on the inside of your shin. But if you can, squeeze it up. Find balance. Whoa, mine's gone. And then once you're there, take your hands into prayer pose. And again, find your stillness. Calm your mind. Enjoy.
enjoy this moment where your brain is just empty because you're concentrating so much on keeping still. Don't forget to breathe. Perfect, well done. So just focusing on how you feel right now. Do you feel more relaxed? Shake it out. Opposite foot on the floor, bring it in. Squeeze that leg up into your shin or into the inside of your thigh. Hold it there. Oh my goodness me. It is not my day to balance. There we go. And breathe. Now if you're a super expert, close your eyes. Really work your spatial awareness. Open your thighs, 
All we're doing is stretching out your groin. We hold so much tension in your hips and your groin. Releasing it could do so much more. So just hold it there. We'll also improve your squats. Gently just rock side to side. Good. Hands either on your shins or the on the floor. Hold it there. <laughs> Walk your feet in. Slowly bring it up. So we're going to take it to the floor. So to get there, we're going to do one muscle salutation. Breathe in. Exhale down. Inhale. Flat back. Fold it down. Hands on the floor. Jump or walk your feet back. Chaturanga down towards the floor. Bring it up into upward facing dog. Squeeze it back. From here, place your knees on the floor. Place your toes together. Open out your thighs. Squeeze it back. Into child's pose. Perfect. Well done. So we're going to start at your four. So, easy. 
easy option, we're going to gradually progress this, is to take one leg off the floor and hold it there. So your back's at about a 70 degree angle, you're not pinned up straight, but you're squeezing your belly button into your spine as much as you can to support your spine. Okay, second option, you're going to take both legs off the floor, tap them back down, bring them up, and tap them back down, well done, bring them up, and tap. Up and tap. Second option, you're going to bring your legs up, hold it there. You're going to inhale. As you exhale, roll back all the way through the spine. Bring it up, balance. Perfect. So breathe in. Exhale, roll. Bring it back up. Perfect. Find that tailbone. Find your balance. And again. Hold. And again. So to make this harder, take away the hands. And from here, attempt to roll back. See if you can use your core on your own to bring yourself up and hold. Perfect. And again. Big exhale as you roll. And again. And last option. Straight in your legs. Can you do it with straight legs? Into that V. Well done. So you've got lots of options. You can practice this in your own time. And again, two more. If you're shaking like me, good. Hold. Take your knees. Bend them, roll back, perfect. From here, press your left foot on the floor, extend the right leg in the air. Don't worry if you can't get it all the way to the top, you can have a slight bend. This is your easy option, otherwise you're going to extend that left leg to make it harder. I want you to breathe in, lower that leg. Exhale, lift it back up. And very slowly switch your legs. And start on the opposite leg. So breathe in, exhale, switch. Good. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, squeeze your belly button, switch. And again, in, out, switch. Good. Couple more. From here, lift your shoulders off the floor. And I just want you to speed up your scissors. If this is too much, you can do this with bent legs. Or if you want to assist your legs, squeeze your legs in with your hands. Give yourself a little bit of balance, otherwise take your hands away. Take one leg out at a time. Perfect, both legs up. Well done. You're going to take them over to 45 degrees. Then you're going to bend your legs, touch your toes on the floor, bring it back up. So lower your legs to 45. Take it down and up. So if you can go further, please do. Only if your back is staying on the floor. Place your hands onto your bum to assist. But as soon as you feel your back coming off the floor, bend your knees, take it back up. Perfect. Take your right foot, leave it in the air, place your left foot on the floor. Easy option is to hold it there, otherwise extend that leg again, hands out to a T. You're going to take your right leg over towards your left hand side, bring it back up to centre. Take it over. So if you want to make this harder, lift both legs, take it over towards one side, keep 
Keep both shoulder blades in the floor. Bring it back up. And again. Bring it up. In your own time, use your breath. Finish your last one. Perfect, well done. This time, take your right foot on the floor, extend it out, left leg in the air. Take it over, bring it up. Feel that thoracic twist, it's lovely. And again, if you want to make this harder on your obliques, take both legs up. You can also do this with a slight bend, 90 degree angle. You may get a few little clicks in your back along the way. Lovely, enjoy it. Good, come on. Perfect, bring it in. Knees into chest, slowly rock side to side. Well done. From here, hands on your knees. Just slowly take you in a circular motion outwards. And reverse. Take it back, out and in. Place the soles of your feet into the sky. Hold on to the inside of your shins or if you can, the soles of your feet, happy baby, rock side to side. Perfect, if you want to, start closing your eyes. Start taking those deep breaths in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Knees together. Tip both legs over towards one side, thoracic twist. And again, breathe up to the middle. Take it over towards the other side. Perfect. We're going to go into our corpse pose. So extend both legs out. Completely let the gravity get hold of your legs. Open out your ankles. Turn your palms to face the ceiling. Roll your shoulders away from your ears. Close your eyes and just take a couple of moments. intention that we did at the beginning of the class. Think about how different you feel from the start to now. Do you feel relaxed? Do you feel distressed, unwind, lengthened? Do you feel proud of yourself for doing that? Okay, take a deep breath in. Nod your head side to 
side. Perfect. Roll on to one side. Use that hand in front to push yourself up, head coming up last. Slowly open your eyes. Sit however you find most comfortable. Place your palms up towards the sky, roll your shoulders back. Perfect, take a deep breath in. Exhale. Relaxed and rejuvenated, and I'll see you next week.